Well, I wouldn't want to be Matt Damon's publicist this morning. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and actor Matt Damon is in hot water on social media today with his name trending all over Twitter. He did an interview for his new film, Stillwater, which has had multiple, actually, controversies about it. Uh, but today's controversy surrounds this interview he did with The Times, uh, where one section of the interview is being pulled out. Uh, this one, uh, where he admits that his daughter only recently educated him on using this word for people. I got to be careful what I say here on the YouTube algorithm. Uh, look, I don't use that word. I haven't used that word and I can't even remember how long. Yeah, when I was a dumb kid, sure. It was sort of more okay. We didn't really know. And I'm talking way, way, way back ago. ago I'm, I'm older than I look. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, I just, when, once I learned that, that word wasn't okay, yeah, I, I haven't used that word. I avoid it. Um, and uh, it's odd that it took Matt Damon so long. But here's my problem. Isn't it good that he learned that the word is bad? Isn't it good that he's now been educated and has stopped using the word? We as a society now are so quick to judge and condemn and just be so mad and angry at someone when they even change. What's the point of education and change if we don't accept and say, good for you, now help make sure and pay that forward and make sure you teach your other friends that it's not a good word. Isn't that the goal of it all? But no, 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 it's not the goal of it all because it seems, based off Twitter today and social media, no, the goal is just to condemn Matt Damon forever, to hate him because he can't change. He's a jerk. He used that word too recently, so we can never forgive him now. I can never trust him ever again. There's no way for anyone to have redemption or to be educated or to learn. And, and that, to me, is the real problem here today I'm learning. I, I'm upset by it because, yeah, Matt Damon should have known earlier that that word is not a good word to use. It's weird that it took him this long. I'm not denying that at all. And you don't have to like Matt Damon. You don't have to go buy tickets to his movies. You don't have to download his movies. I'm not telling you what to think. But where I really have you know, a problem is this attitude where so many people who think they're doing good, I, I feel like are actually doing damage. They're doing damage because there are a lot of older people and people in different areas around the world that just don't know any better or have been raised a certain way. And sometimes it takes a while for people to be okay with change, to adjust their language, to do these things. And it's important that we try to educate and do the right thing. Right? Is that not that goal? Should we be, shouldn't we be happy when more people come to terms of saying, you know, yeah, I understand that this is, this is not a good thing. You know, to me, this is actually a better, better headline. Uh, credits his daughter for ending his use of the slur. That, that to me is the, actual, the actuality of what happened in the interview. But no, there's a lot of pieces now only just stopped. Big sigh. Uh, and so many people, he's trending. Twitter is trying to distract. <laughs> the reason he's, tr he's trending, because there's a couple other sound bites in here that are, that are interesting, honestly, in this article. But it was definitely this one that really spurred all the uh, reactions online. And look, I understand some people are mad because some people are like, see? People say there isn't an issue, and there is an issue. People are still using this word today, and as if it's like, it, it, uh, yeah, it's 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 a bummer. It's a bummer, but you got to remember this this word was used in everywhere in movies as jokes. It, that's what it was. I'm not saying it was right, but that's just the way people were used to, and now society has you know changed. We are educating people, and we're saying, look, that word's not good. It's not a good word. The gay community doesn't like that word, so let's just avoid using that word derogatorily, and. uh in order to do that properly, I do think we have to educate people. And now, who's going to listen if, who's going to ever admit to it or want to change if they're just constantly condemned even after they've done it? Now, I, I want to actually also just go through the actual article itself. Let, let's read the quote in question so we can really get it. I had to go get a subscription to this site. Well, I guess I got the free trial. Can't I cancel you? Because, my gosh, I hate, can't stand all these sites. I know they got to make money, but it's the point of ad, put some ads on it. But anyway, they, they tease it in the beginning of the article. More on that later. But here, here's the question. So they're talking about the, the uh, change during the Me Too movement. Uh, when he was asked about the allegations of Weinstein, the actor said, as a father of four daughters, this is the kind of predation that keeps me up at night. He caught flack from those who said that any human should be offended, not just a dad. God forbid we relate and be offended in our own personal way. No, 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 Matt Damon. Everyone's, a, of course, that's what he meant. We got to attack everybody for every little word they say wrong. Yeah, as a father, he has a different viewpoint. Doesn't mean he wasn't, he's not, doesn't think everyone should be offended. 
He literally says the father of four daughters. This is what keeps me up at night. Yeah, because I'm sorry. I'm sure he cares about his daughters more than anybody else. <laughs> I'm sorry. The rest of the world isn't keeping him up at night. His four daughters and their well-being is what keeps him up on it. And that's what he said. But my God, see, he got flack for that. So people already want to cancel him because he said that. And so he had to, everyone's, eh, any offended, any human should be offended, not just a dad. And did he understand the anger? And he, he begrudgingly clearly is like, yeah, it's a fair point. Anyone should be offended by that behavior. Duh. Duh. But we got to, we got to, we got to poke and, you know, <laughs> call out every little bit of information. And I, I could tell he was frustrated. And, and so, he, and I think he was, he's rightfully frustrated on this one because to me, this was a non-issue. This was finding something out of nothing. And so he pauses, and this is where you got to understand the mentality of where he's coming from. And so he goes, look, I just think there's a tendency now. He stops and starts again. 20 years ago, the best way I can put it is that, this, is that the journalists listen to the music more than the lyrics of an interview. Now your lyrics are getting parsed to pull them out of context and get the best headline possible. Everyone needs clicks. Before, it didn't really matter what I said because it didn't make the news. But maybe the shift is a good thing, so I shut the F up more. He, look, he's admitting he's an idiot. You know, he's like, look, I, I, I didn't really learn anything because I would just talk and no one really cared. Or no one really told me anything about it. They just sort of talked broadly. We moved on. I was a movie star. Uh, as, then as part of a wider conversation about the changes in modern masculinity, which I would have loved to have heard a little bit more of. But no, they, they skip all that and then go straight to the exact thing he's talking about, the best headline. Damon launches into exactly the sort of antidote people make headlines about. Let's acknowledge it, reporter, that you managed to be like, yep, I'm going to grab on this because I know this will be big on Twitter. Uh, how he stopped using the most taboo term for gay people after his daughter protested. The word that my daughter calls the F slur for homosexual was commonly used when I was a kid. He's from Boston. You got to remember that. Not to say all, but I'm just saying when he's a kid in Boston, I'm sure that was used a lot. Uh, that's what was ingrained to him as a young child. Not, and again, not justifying it. See, we always got to have these caveats. We're walking on eggshells as we just talk about things. Um, but so anyway, that's his background, right? I made a joke months ago and got a treat seat for my daughter. She left the table. I said, come on, that's a joke. I say in the movie Stuck on You. She went to her room and wrote a very long, beautiful treat seat on how that word is dangerous. I said, I retire the F slur. I understood. He smiles. He listens and he changed. But the point is not so much that he only just stopped using the word. <clears throat> Rather that he is open about it. This is because he is more of a personality than a brand, a human, not a billboard. He's the main reason that people go to his movies, more of a selling point than the story. But such stars are fading now. The movie business is simply not geared towards leading men anymore, and we will miss them when they're gone. Um, even the article was trying not to make it about it, but of course it's, this is what it's going to come about. But look, should he have known better? Yeah, you'd think. You'd think like, Matt Damon, you seem like a smart guy. You know this is not a good word to use. Granted, he's using it at home. He's using home with his family. It doesn't justify it, but he's not like out there saying it publicly. But he chose to admit that he did it personally. And that sort of admits, well, then, yeah, you must have said it before. You clearly thought it was okay. And he's admitting this, sort of like trying to open up to everybody to be like, see, look, I was doing this personally and I learned I was wrong. And so I changed. You could be mad at him for saying it personally, like what he says at home. It says a lot. You know, look, what you say in private does say a lot more about you. I understand people might not like the guy learning this, but at the end of the day, shouldn't it be good that he learned? Shouldn't it not matter how long it took or who taught him? Shouldn't we be happy that Matt Damon, who clearly was using it a lot, and I, I, I don't know, who, who knows? He clearly didn't have a problem using it at home privately. Isn't it a good thing that he stopped doing that? Isn't it a good thing that he was educated by his daughter who took the time because she's upset at her father who's out of touch with his ways? Hello. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> it happens everywhere. Everyone gets upset with their older generation parents for not being in the know. Isn't it a good thing that, we, that she was patient with him, that she didn't cancel him, that knowing that he said it in private, but she still is there and loves him and knows the man he is, but was able to still get through to him, which is so rare today, and have him stop? Shouldn't that be what's celebrated? That to me is the point of it all. Why are we, why are we educating? Why are we doing anything if one can't learn and change and grow? That's why I'm so frustrated by this whole one. Because if you go through Twitter, everyone just, they're, 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 yeah, look, he's not canceled. He's not canceled, but he's definitely being condemned. And a lot of people just slamming him, throwing him under the bus. Uh, just people, just the fact that they had to explain him saying this is insane to me. I want to know what word he's replaced this <laughs> Billy Eichner. 
Yeah, come come on, Billy. I'm sure. Have you been in a lot of Judd Apatow movies? They made so many slur things throughout all their movies. The hypocrisy in town is so crazy. Uh, but yeah, look, I can't say some of these. I'm not going to say the word. Uh, but uh, look, it's just it, they're dunking on him like crazy. They're going to continue to dunk it on him like crazy. Tons of people are upset. Uh, here, after eight minutes of not saying Epsler in front of his daughter, I'm gonna, like they're just all calling him awful things just because he was ignorant. I believe he was ignorant. He was educated, but no, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's now phobic, terrible person who's clearly just faking it. He's clearly a faker. We clearly, good riddance, get out of here. How is anyone else going to follow his lead and change? There's a lot of these people in the world that still use words like this that I don't think are helpful. There's going to be a lot of people who watch this are probably still annoyed with me for saying, Andy, what's wrong with the word? I, I, I have problems with the word because uh, it's not accepted in, in, in that community. So let's be respectful to each other. Uh, I, I don't get it. I, I'm curious your thoughts, guys. It, it, can people grow? Can people change? Look, people can hate Matt Damon. There's plenty of reasons to, to hate him. South Park. I always think of Matt, Matt Damon. Uh, <laughs> there's plenty of reasons to be frustrated by anybody. And that's your choice whether you support or watch. But should we be upset when someone admits to being educated and, and finally changing for the right? No? Am I missing something? I'd love your insight on this. Tell me down in the comments below. Let's start a nice civil dialogue. And if you like these types of things, being unafraid to talk about Hollywood issues like this, pop culture, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for alerts, smash that like button, and leave a comment down below. We got so much more coming. In fact, I'm doing a members-only stream where I'm going to be reacting to the Venom trailer because uh, I, those trailer reactions just don't do as well for me here. Uh, but I still want to do it, so I'm going to give members more perks, more movie stuff. So become a member today. If you're not a member, hit the join button. Help support this channel and hit that little left button because I'm going to do a, uh, here it is, on the left there, members only stream. If you're not a member, you still want to watch content, click the box on the right. Lots more exciting stuff here on Popcorn Planet. Thanks, everybody.